Okay, I know I said in my last video I might be stopping flip cups sooner than later, but apparently not. Since I have such good mix of lights and, I'm sorry, darks, I'm just trying to canvas. There we go. Here's my flip cup. Put that over there. Bring this here. Since I have such a good mix of lights and darks, I'm going to add silicone to the light colors. Including my white, I know. Weird, right? Um, I'm still going to use white as my base, but still. I want to see how this plays out. White. So, Artist's Loft Titanium White. Artist's Loft Cerulean Blue. I should have waited to put on gloves. Again. Come on. Ugh. Please. Ugh. Okay, since that one's not playing nice right now, I'm gonna there, glove one off. Maybe I'll be able to get the other one off too with relative ease. Hopefully. Single use, usually. Okay. We mm! will learn one of these days. Cerulean blue. Very nice light blue. And last but not least, Windsor and Newton. Windsor Violet. So. There. So those are the light colors. Ow. My back. Haha, I'm getting better at this. Dry ends as always. The whole reason I grabbed a new stick for the silicone white is because I really don't want to mess this one up. Windsor Newton. Apparently I didn't grab one with the cerulean blue. There it is! It fell on the floor. Of course it did, right? So those colors I will also be using huh. Grumbacher Prussian Blue. I just opened these the other day so it really shouldn't be that hard. Grumbacher in Dioxazine Purple and Carbon Black Riotech. Like I said, shouldn't have been that hard to open them, <laughs> but okay. So I'll put black at the bottom just to see what shall happen. And then I'll do light purple. Dark blue. White. Because it's so thin, it's like sinking. Uh, the light blue. Did I do the dark purple yet? Mm. Yes? No. There we go. <laughs> I'm getting there. Now I'm gonna add the rest of the white and then kind of do something with this. Uh, or spill paint everywhere too, that works. Okay, so, white. Mm -mm. Do light purple. should be good. So I had to take my poor cat to the vet. Uh, now she has eardrops. 
trying to put those in her is not fun. I feel so bad. Uh, but that's another story. And this painting is for a friend that I met when I worked at OnStar. And I don't miss working at OnStar. I much prefer doing this, I must say. Um, wasn't anything against the company, just not my cup of tea. So, let's move a bunch of things out of the way. Leave my way here, though. I've, like, painted my fingernails purple. Whatever. That's not really centered. Go me. So, yeah. I went around and delivered a lot of my paintings today. I will be posting, and have been probably by now, posting community posts about them. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I will... I guess... This. <laughs> oh! Before I lift it, though. This is how the pastel pour dried. And this is how the the uh, purple and yellow one dried. Very pretty. Just trying to remember what was what. Ha ha ha. Okay. I don't know why I put the lid back on this. But... There. I'm gonna have to get more white soon. And go through this paint like it's nothing. But it works. Oh, I purpled my canvas too. Cool. <laughs> So yes, my poor little kitty has a bit of an ear infection. I put the drops in and I thought she was going to go insane until the it, it, the hydrocortisone stuff in it worked, started working and then she wasn't an itchy, which was nice. It's like, I have a cone for it right now, so she's a lamp and um, I'm so happy I have that cone because otherwise she really probably wouldn't have an ear left. After that scratching incident, I felt so bad for my poor cat. Okay, get off my knife. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, so I cut off the sleeves of one of my t-shirts and was like, oh, look, new rags. So, can't complain. All right. Oh, hopefully my dog doesn't try to come downstairs. You'll hear him if you do. <laughs> if he does, rather. Um, he's a 95 pound boxer Rottweiler who thinks he's a kangaroo. And yeah. Also thinks he's a lap ornament. Doesn't really help situations much. Well, that's pretty. Okay. See what we can do. Dish. I like how the black like ribboned out in it. Neat. 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 Oh wow, this is gorgeous. Look at those cells. Man, this is so pretty. I gotta push it 
This way. Yeah. That way. <sighs> and then off this bottom edge. Goodbye, slut. Wow. It's probably one of my favorites so far. <sighs> again. Again. I just keep... I guess it's improvement? I don't know. I'm not trying to gloat. I just really like this. It's one of my better ones that I've done recently, that's for sure. Alright, let's see what else decides to come up. So, the reason I torch it is not only for the silicone to rise to the surface because the heating of the oil will cause it to rise to the surface because acrylic paint is water-based. Um, it also helps pop any air bubbles that may have been trapped in the paint when I, like, you know, rolled it over. Neat. Okay, there are so many little cells. And it looks really cool. I'll get you down for a close up because I really like this. I really do love blue and purple together. They make such a good combination and I was excited to see how this was gonna come out. I, like, I'm just so blown away. You can see the bits of Prussian blue like popping up over here and so much just cells and it's so pretty. Let me know what you think of this one down in the comments below. Make sure you like this video if you like this painting. Share with your friends to spread the love, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.